everybody. That's my voice for the day. I'm going to be doing that Hi, from everyone. here on out. Hi, everyone. Hello. I'm excited. You're excited? Yes. Okay. Uh, somebody's birthday soon, and we're having that person on the show. Mm -hmm. I'll reveal it once we start on the script. You're but excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm in a good very mood. I'm in but a good mood. But I need mood to be too. angry. That's like my thing on the show. So hold on. You're like trying to channel your Star dark Wars. force. Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. Okay, good. Nice yeah, just mad. think about the bad Star, Star Wars. Star Wars, Game of Thrones. Oh, I'm mad. Now you're mad. I'm really Picard's mad. great. Do not diss on Picard. <laughs> we love Picard. Um, well, hello, everybody. And it looks a like we have a small audio delay, is what we're oh, seeing. Oh, bummer, small is that a audio thing? delay. Is it still? Here. One, two, three. Refresh, maybe? Plus one, plus two. Hello? Okay, cool. Maybe. I think we've refreshed, perhaps. Okay. I think we're um, good. Johnny Digital says small audio delay. Okay, yeah, we just read that. <laughs> <laughs> you had me. You had me. Uh -huh, I'm, um, I'm Chef is on. Is in chat. Mika Wu is in chat. What up? Welcome, welcome. All right. Um, all right, guys. Last week in gaming time. That is right. We have some gaming news for you. I'm excited for tonight's show because, as I said, there's there was a lot going on this week, and we have an amazing guest. So uh, the gaming news is uh, picking back up this year with some decent surprises as well as some next gen talk. Because believe it or not, uh, we're entering a new gen cycle at the end of the year. Yep, and I'm not sure if I'm ready. Are you guys ready for, for new consoles to start an entering your life or to switch out your current gen consoles to your new gen consoles? Uh, I don't know. Are you set in your ways? What's your thing? PC Master Race is excluded from this question, by the way. Yeah, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna pipe up and then. Uh, no, saw you that gotta line. shut your mouth. Yeah. Um, no, those of you who like consoles, are you ready for a new console cycle to happen? It's happening. A year is gonna go by really fast. I know, because I've experienced last year. That went in flash. I couldn't couldn't believe last year <laughs> that went down. going to go by fast, because I've experienced time. <laughs> I've experienced time, <laughs> and I'm a human on this small blip of a planet. Um, all right, I'm doubly excited because our guest tonight, she is the Internet's darling. She is a gamer, a Canadian, fellow Canadian, and one of my good friends, Sonia, a.k.a. Oh My God, Firefox is in the house. Yeah. Yeah, she's not here yet. Not she's on her way. Yet, she's, you know, making her way here. Um, uh, but it's her birthday next week, so we have some cake. But does she know that yet? I don't think she knows that so yet. Shh. Shh. Nobody shh. tell her in chat. Shh. Don't say a thing. All right. Uh, so stay tuned for that in a bit because uh, it's time once again for your gaming news roundup. Here are our main stories, my Ooh. friends. I love our little intro. It's so good. Such a good little intro. All right. Uh, looks like some people here say, oh, I see Speed Demon already. I hope that they do something to upgrade the Xbox One X. I don't know. Upgrade it. Upgrade it for, at this point in the game? I don't know. I don't think so. We shall see. All right, our first story tonight. Don't hold your breath for the reveal of oh, PlayStation 5. And most importantly, NAC 3 mm -hmm. this month. Yep, it doesn't sound likely that Sony will repeat history by having the PS5 reveal in February like the company did with PS4 on PlayStation.com. A new message that they posted said, we've begun to share some of the incredible features you can expect from PlayStation 5, but we're not quite ready to fully unveil the next generation of PlayStation. Sony then suggests you sign up for email updates, but mainly this just seems to, you know, keep the hype train in check for the time being. Many people expected a PS5 meeting sooner than later, so this is basically saying, chill, you know? Chill out, dudes. Chill out, my dudes. Um, comments in chat are saying they're still having audio issues. No. We're going to try to work on that. Oh, okay, They're cool. troubleshooting to make it sure. work. Back with them. Mm, All right, uh, good. Um, happy Friday. I'll have a drink for both of you. Mike Gonzalez, you're the best. Yeah. You're right. It's Friday. You guys should be chilling and drinking soda. <laughs> Keep it PG. All right, next story. Speaking of PS5, because, yes, PS5 was a lot in the news this week. Sony seems to be waiting for... Microsoft to price Xbox Series X uh, before putting a tag on its next-gen consoles. That's right. Video Games Chronicle.com reports that Sony Chief Financial Advisor Hiroki Tataki, 
I practiced that name before go doing this show, uh, touched on this during a <laughs> recent earning. What is not very clear or visible is because we are competing in the space. So it's very difficult to discuss anything about the price at this point of time. And depending upon the price level, we may have to determine the promotion that we are going to deploy and how much costs we are prepared to pay. Remember. Damn. Yeah. Those undercutting mother effers. The wood. They're like waiting to like oh, see totally. the price and be like, ah, oh, fifty dollars cheaper. Yep, that's what they're trying to do. Remember, PS4 initially was a hundred dollars cheaper than Xbox One, which was an advantage Sony used to bludgeon Microsoft with uh, at E3 2013. So of course, Sony would like to undercut the competition again. Possible. I'm sure Microsoft hasn't forgotten this, and they're probably seeing the news stories. Uh, you know, so we, we might watch a party, a pretty epic standoff between the two companies. Uh, with that said, I'd love to hear what you guys think the price points will be for each console. In the comments, I'm telling you, put on your math hats, get out a calculator, let's get chatting about what those prices might be for Xbox's new console as well as the PlayStation 5. Um, so here are my guesses, and these are a bit wild, so keep that in mind. Um, so my guess is Xbox Series S X will come in at $549.99, and Sony will come under in just like just the last second at $499.99. Yes, though, because you never know. I, I know it's definitely not going to. I have a hunch everything's going to be above $500. Uh, that's my guess. It's Xbox EA version $1,000. That's never gonna happen. Um, <laughs> no, I want some real numbers, guys. What do you guys think? Um, d will they do the hundred dollar difference? Also, who's gonna end up winning the the stake? Because at this point, they're just they're just waiting to see. It's gonna be like a hold or a holdout or what are those called in negotiations? What? When two parties are just waiting for the next Stand person. Off? A standoff. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> it's right there. Thanks. What, or it's in the script? Oh, man. <laughs> I love Evan. You have my back. Uh, this standoff, that's right. So could the Xbox Series X come in under Sony's price point? Uh, this time around, I really want you guys to let me know in the comments what you guys think. 500 sounds about right. For I'd which say. one? For the Xbox X? The Series X? Ooh, 699 Xbox. That's high. That's real high. Yeah, but, it, but it's it, possible. If it's beefy, I don't think, yeah, yeah. I th I think it'll probably be between four to six hundred, mm -hmm. regardless. So each console is probably going to fall in that little middle ground. Could be seven hundred. What they're they're pushing for is you know for it to be a real, really high powered uh, next gen console. So. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, depending on what they can do with the pricing, but it's competitive for sure. Yeah, it's already started. Yeah. And the, the consoles aren't even out until December, so. Yeah. Um, all right. Oh, five forty nine ninety nine. I don't know. I just put that that one out there. It's a guess. It's a wild guess. Um, I think PS five looks like Speed Demon says. I think the PS five, if it stays like that, what the dev kit looks like, it could he could see it at five hundred dollars. That's interesting. Interesting. Anyways, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Um, let's see what our next story is for the day. Oh, yeah, Sony, we're Sony and Nintendo. Sync. We're a little out of sync on the iPad versus the oh. actual monitor. That's why I was having some confusion. No worries, no it's worries. Good, but I'm just watching the monitor now. Perfect. Okay. Um, speaking of the big wigs, Sony and Nintendo are Microsoft's frenemies. That's right, because the company's real foes are apparently now Google and Amazon. Xbox head honcho Phil Spencer discussed his perspective on the competition with the tech publication protocol, saying, when you talk about Nintendo and Sony, we have a ton of respect for them, but we see Amazon and Google as the main competitors going forward. That's not to disrespect Nintendo and Sony, but the traditional gaming companies are somewhat out of position. I guess they could try to recreate Azure, but we've invested tens of billions of dollars in cloud over the years. I don't want to be in a fight over format wars with those guys like Am while Amazon and Google are focusing on how to get gaming to 7 billion people around the world. Ultimately, that's the goal. And I agree. But man, Spencer is out here acting like PlayStation Now doesn't even exist. Huh? Mm, but I love it. I kind of love it. I love it. Um, and this might give more insight into why Xbox has cozied up with Nintendo on Switch, right? Mm -hmm. Over the past couple of years. So, you know, I wonder if we uh, might ever see Project X Cloud on the hybrid system. I that love would it. be bonkers. I mean, Nintendo does that exact thing. Nintendo, like Sony and Microsoft are like always back. Always. Their heads. Brrr. Nintendo's over in the corner playing with Legos and yeah. like making really cool stuff. Yeah. So now if they stop all doing that, I'm all about it. All about it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Novicius joined the chat. He says, good job, team. Thank you. We are trying our darndest. <laughs> We're making a good show. At least we hope so. <laughs> mm. 
Speed Demon confirms our syncing issues have been resolved. A nice compliment you, from the JJ3033. Audio yeah. is fine, but love the news and doing great little bugs aren't an issue. Aw, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. That deserves an applause. All right, I don't know what kind of accent that was. Um, <laughs> I loved it. I, I loved it great. too. It's thanks. You did great. You did too. Well, hey. I, Look no, at us. No, I'm not doing it. Why not? I don't. Uh, You're killing it. Oh, oh. What is happening? <laughs> oh, well, I, I mean, today my dad called me and he's like, you should be the nice one today on the show and then make Naomi be the angry one. Oh, yeah, so, so I you're gotta trying be, to. I got to be fun and flirty. All right. Like, just keep this going. Just you know? keep it going. <laughs> I love this new Kyle. You love it. What happened? Uh, your hair is in your, up in your oh, microphone. Oh, is it touching my mic? Mm -hmm, yeah. Because my dad's probably going to watch this from the future. So hi, future dad. Aww. Mom, dad, Connor, if he's on the couch. Connor, do your homework. Do your uh, homework now. Okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> I got it. It gets tiresome being the angry one, but I like being mad sometimes. Sometimes. Well, especially when it's like, yeah, anyway. It's, good. it's good fuel. Yes. All right. Since okay. we're chatting about Microsoft, Xbox Game Pass has gotten two more heavy hitters. Ooh. My God, Xbox Game Pass. They Tone it down. Microsoft Pass. <gasps> can't handle it. Final Fantasy 15 and Wolfenstein Young Blood are now available oh, on console man. and PC, so I'm obviously going to be playing that this weekend. Dang. Which one are you going to play, Wolfenstein or Final uh, Fantasy? No, Final Fantasy 15 apparently is amazing. Okay, you play that. I'm going to play Wolfenstein since I never had a good playthrough with it. Um, Sorry. Uh, where are we at? It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, so anyways. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so you can go on right now. Uh, a boy band road trip fighting monsters or hang out with BJ's twin girls taking down Nazi scum. Always down. How about that? To taking down Nazi scum. Yeah. As for what's leaving, uh, the notable games are Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Oh, yeah. Stadia's got a monopoly on that. Yeah. Rage. And I guess Disney Epic Mickey 2. Cool, 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 yeah. cool, 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 very cool. All right, whenever there's a new console launch, you can always count on Ubisoft to show up. In fact, the publisher plans to release five AAA games from April 1st through March 31st, 2021. We They're trying to kill us. Ubisoft. We, we love also love them. Ubisoft, and we're going to give them another shout out later in the show. Uh, Ubisoft CEO and adorable old man Eve Kimo, who I love, uh, revealed the company's intentions during a recent earnings call. According to IGN, my old business daddy, um, <laughs> adding that Beyond Good and Evil 2, remember, Beyond Good and Evil 2 is in production, isn't one of those five titles. So you, you, what is it going to be? Yeah. By looking at UB's delayed games, it seems like it might be Watch Dogs, Leg uh, Watch Dogs Legions, Gods and Monsters, and Rainbow Six Quarantine are at least three of the five. Come on, you know you're... Oh, wait. I'm getting there. Yeah, yeah. And then... If I had to put money on it, I'd guess Assassin's Creed and, of course, Far Cry are the two others. That's just my guess. Also, like I mentioned at the start, UB loves having launch games for new consoles, so I'd expect uh, at least a couple of them to release when Xbox Series X and PS5 hit shelves. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were cross-platform. Uh, hopefully I don't put my foot in my mouth right here. Okay. But, well, now I'm doubting myself, but I would, can I, I'm going to say... Splinter Cell? Splinter Cell? Yeah, that's a Ubisoft game. That's a Ubisoft game. That, that would be a back. AAA title. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, we need another good stealth game. I'd Do love we it. agree, audience members watching the show tonight? Well, I mean, I would love 100%. There you go, Shaheen, 100%. 100% like would love a new Splinter Cell. Um, Splinter Cell, yes, that would be it's big, 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 big. You know what's up. I, I remember playing Splinter Cell when it like they showed the trailer and it was like... Komaki says hi. Just, Komaki, hi, what up, Kevin? Komaki. A Ghost Recon as well. Wildlands was good. But I remember seeing that... Man, back in the mid 2000s, seeing the Splinter Cell trailer when he's like crouching behind like this oh. trellis work, and the light came through and split and diffused, I like blew my mind. <laughs> anyway, we were like, "This is amazing!" This is the future. And now we just complain about 4K yeah. and graphics yeah. and all that stuff. Um, all right, someone said, "Be big." Uh, Be big said, "I'm so behind on the Assassin's Creed games; they pump them out too fast." Last couple have been good. They're worth They've it. been good though, and they're usually not that long. All things considered. I mean, if you're a completionist, then yes, but uh, story-wise, you can get through it pretty quickly. I have a question. What constitutes a AAA game? I would say budget. Budget, 100%. Coming from a big, big... Popularity. Yeah. No, nah, I, I would things. say budget mostly, like in the yeah. tens of millions. Yeah. Those are the big ones. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got through that story. I think we're almost to uh, Kyle's Mediocre Plays, perhaps, uh, no, coming up. We're talking we got, about I think Rockstar. we have two more stories. And then it's okay. your turn. Yeah. Yeah. You, we've got a three-minute Mediocre Plays for you. Ooh. 
it's I mean, be I, good. It's, I've been it's been really varied lately. What I've been playing. Yeah, you're and, all over the map. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> not really. It's and still Apex the same game, was but... having some issues when I was recording. Oh, yeah, really? So, oh, we'll yeah. talk about that for sure. Because mm-hmm. um, it is season four. Yeah, lots happening. Rockstar Games is saying, oh, this is a big one. Actually, this was a big story that dropped yeah. this week. Complete surprise. Rockstar Games is saying goodbye to a key figure of the organization, Dan Hauser who co-founded Rockstar and also served as lead writer on GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, will exit the studio on March 11th. Take-Two Interactive issued the following statement. We are extremely grateful for his contributions. Rockstar uh, Games has built some of the most critically acclaimed and commercially successful game worlds, a global community of passionate fans, and an incredibly talented team which remains focused on current and future projects. You have to wonder, or at least I do, what this means for uh, GTA 6. Yeah, especially since GTA Online seemingly is making money hand over fist. That (laughs) game will never die. They are just pumping It's never going to die. But yeah, GTA 6, what's going to happen? We don't... I mean, he was lead writer. He made GTA 5 what it is. Does that mean Mm, GTA GTA 6 may be like okay? I'm betting there's a there's a good chance it'll just be like a perpetual online state game, also true, like a freemium model. Yeah, I I feel like you might be right on that one. Yeah. All right, Hauser isn't the only major figure making a major move. By the way, the Coalition studio head Rod Ferguson. This is good news though. Rod Ferguson, who currently oversees the Gears of War franchise for Microsoft, is leaving the developer to become head honcho of the Diablo series. Yeah, he wrote on Twitter, what? starting it's it's yeah, starting in March, I will join Blizzard to oversee the Diablo franchise. Leaving is bittersweet as I love our Gears family and fans and everyone at the Coalition and Xbox. Thank you. It has been an honor and a privilege to work with you all. Now, if you didn't know, Ferguson is known as a closer uh, as a closer rather in the industry, successfully shipping Bioshock Infinite and then taking over the coalition to put Gears 5 and 4 out. So it seems like Activision Blizzard wanted someone to get Diablo 4 over the finish line. No doubt he will be instrumental in making that happen. All right, so we're, uh, you know, Kyle has been, like we were saying, on a roll. Uh, you've been playing Apex and Rocket League. Yep, and some League of Legends. And which some is League. Killing so this is uh, Apex Season 4. Yep. Uh, all right, so here it is. Uh, Kyle's trying his darndest and might actually have upgraded to pretty good plays. I don't know. You'll have to let us know how you guys uh, think of that in the comments. Take a look right now. Oh, I got a grenade. Oh, dude, that guy's low as f- Can anyone push him? Got him. Yeah. Come in, come in, come in. Yeah, finish him, I just rolled up, up Kill all the time. There's people I can see. Oh, get knocked. Oh, yeah. Hidden, hidden. We're getting shot from that angle now. Oh. Not gonna let it happen. Get headshot. Oh, smoked him. God. Oh! That oh! <laughs> oh! Yes, dude. Woo. Beautiful. <gasps> All the way. You got time. Yeah, dude. That's the second one you got just like that. Woo. Good job. Woo. That's a goal, dude. You're a nasty individual. Oh, Good I job. can run this. I can run this. There you go. Woo! Woo! I like Apex because Apex would be a good traditional shooter. Oh, jeez. Yeah. What is this? Disgusting. Yeah. Dude, come inside there. 
Yeah. One outside, one outside. Got him. Yeah, keep them coming. Yeah, keep they're ulting. Ulting, ulting, ulting. Dropped him. Hit this totem, hit this totem. Okay, I'm back in my totem. Down below us. Rezzing, rezzing, rezzing. Yeah. Yeah, no. Got one. Close, this guy's gonna chase me. Right here, right Literally here. Literally shot this guy four times, dude. Got him. You got him. He's here. Hell yeah. Kyle, those were some good plays. They were actually pretty good that time. What the what the heck? I know. What the heck? I love that opening one. Thank you. That was so good. Yeah. You posted that opening one on your social on my, medias, yeah, right? That opening one was really good. Really happy with that one. Yeah. I mean, you're getting better and better. I'm say, I'm telling you, one of these days is going to be it's going to show up and it's going to say Kyle's pretty good plays. Pretty good plays. Pretty good plays. Pretty good. And <laughs> it's going to happen. Yay. And then Yay. I get to sleep inside that night. And then you get to sleep indoors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, actually some of them are pretty good. Pretty yeah. proud of them. Yeah. And you've been having fun with season 4. Yes. Right? Season four is really Pretty good. Pretty impressive. Apex in general is just incredibly. I fun. know. I need um, to go back to it. Yeah, it's so fun. Uh, the new character is really fun. He's got a, he's got his downsides and his positives, which I really like. Yay! A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, I would have had more Apex footage, but uh, there was like a weird loop when oh. uh, when you're playing and you get to the post game lobby, it would crash and lock you out. That's the worst. So I've good. had a lot of crash issues with games. Not with Temtem, though, which is our oh, next Let's Play that we're going to get oh, to see. Sorry. All right, Batman, John Wick, Ray Pelp. Uh, I mean, Skywalker. Yeah. There have been some super popular characters that have come to Fortnite, but I'm especially excited... Can you guys guess? You probably already know this news. I know, you can already see it. Uh, but yeah, that Harley Quinn is now available through uh, February 17th in the Battle Royale game, believe it or not. Yes, her starting outfit is from Suicide Squad with the little, you know, monster shirt. Uh, but by doing challenges, you can unlock her threads from the, of course, upcoming Birds of Prey movie. Which we're which seeing is, tomorrow. Yeah, we're seeing it tomorrow. Literally, that's in the script. <laughs> we're oh, planning really? to see it tomorrow night on the oh. weekend. Um, but anyways, are you guys planning to see the film? Have you seen it already let us know we would love to know your thoughts on it apparently it's amazing across the board everyone's giving it pra praise uh, Ron Tomatoes loves it and we're gonna check it out this weekend so let me know about yourselves in the comments Naomi Quinn is way better than this don't even diss my Harley Quinn she's wonderful no Naomi she's Quinn he's saying you are better I'm not better than Harley Quinn, though. Oh, you're saying don't diss Margot. Don't diss Margot. Don't yeah, diss any Margo's of the Harleys. Margot's amazing. Yes. Margot's fantastic. She's wonderful. Yeah. Is Harley getting her own show? Oh, well, uh, if you consider me Harley, I've already got my own show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but no. Um, I don't know. Harley Quinn, I, it's maybe. I don't, I, don't see, I, don't know, I don't see it happening. Where would it live? Where would the show live? DC does send. Oh, CW, right? Yeah. Shaheen says another caffeine creator. You, you'd be really excited. Did a song for Birds of Prey. Doja Cat is a get caffeine. the frick out of here. She's a caffeine creator. She's a big fan. Also, a huge fan of Doja Cat. Mm -hmm. Might be. You might ha need to let me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's the greatest. I've actually been a fan of her since before she cow. launched her album and really kind of came out and blew the, up. The cow song. The cow song. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you say yeah. the uh, the B word? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I said. Uh, are we gonna add an IOU to yeah, the swear jar? Oh, All right, yeah. we're doing it. I'll Here it goes. I actually don't have a pen. You know what I do have oh, though? No, I'm, I'm Batman's like, hand, which keeps and, falling off the they, statue. <laughs> that is my Batman statue. I was looking for it. You've my... been looking for it? Yeah, I'm so dumb. Have you forgot that we had this? We've had yeah. this on the show like literally since the beginning. I like how Sam's CD is in here. I know. I just I just tried to stuff a bunch of stuff in there. So you have to add a plus one in pink. That's okay. the punishment. <laughs> okay. Not, oh no, it's pink. Oh no. All, All right. right. Oh, and the monies. But I agree. Okay. It's not really Frog because it's a song title, but yeah, you still okay. got to keep it PG. All right. All right. So All right. in just one wonderful day, the Wonderful 101 Remastered raised over a million dollars on Kickstarter. That means the Wii U cult classic by Platinum will come to Nintendo Switch, PS4, and PC in April. That is so fast, which is pretty dang, pretty dang soon. I, I, sometimes I get ahead of the script. Um, as for a possible P uh, Xbox release, Platinum says, however, we are absolutely listening and if this campaign is successful enough to allow us 
the flexibility to port the game and additional platforms, well, we would love to make it happen. You know, part of me wonders if the studio is uh, still sour about what happened with uh, Microsoft and Scalebound. Ooh. So my guess is uh, we're probably not going to see it on the Xbox. Anyway, uh, Team Ninja, which is a Koi Tecmo development house, Sorry. And not the name of a villainous team from Pokemon. Indeed not. Uh, understands that there's interest in another Ninja Gaiden game. Um, in an interview with IGN, Neo 2 director... All right, I'm going to not nail this. Uh, Fumihiko Yasuda uh, said the core members of the team that worked on... Ninja Gaiden, uh, want to make a new game. We are aware that some fans wanted Ninja Gaiden more than Neo 2. N and of course, Neo 2 is coming out soon, I think. Um, now we see a lot of Ninja games like Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, as well as we see a lot of good inspirations in those games. So we hope to deliver some good news one day. So basically, ninjas never go out of style. Never. And I'm cool with that. Also, we're training our kids to be ninjas. Yeah. Fun fact. Yeah, we have five kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, w I mean, People keep it. Don't know. Yeah. People don't know this. Yeah. We have like and 20 kids. We're not actually going to school them. We're, we just make them fight each other yeah. for our attention. Yes. And then they'll be need lots of therapy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> space ninjas are better? Oh, B-Bang. That is maybe true. I don't know. I've never seen a space ninja. Has anyone done a good representation of a space ninja before? I feel like no. I feel like we have to, we have to make a movie about that. All right, on the last episode, I told you about the Outer Worlds uh, that was set to arrive on Switch on March 6th, but now that's no longer the case. This is totally crazy uh, because of coronavirus. That's right, Private Division posted on Twitter, we're delaying the Outer Worlds on Nintendo Switch due to the cor coronavirus. I always want to say chronos? Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Anyways. Uh, because the, the virus itself is impacting the virtuous team working on the port to provide them enough time to finish development, uh, they're now uh, going to be releasing it at a later point. So what we don't know. Heck? We don't know what's, uh, what's going to be happening, at which point they're going to open, but basically the coronavirus has, you know, delayed everything going on the Switch when it comes to, uh, to our games here. I don't understand what's happening with the prompter. Watch oh, this. did it watch freeze? This. No, look, 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 watch, watch. Oh my god, it's blinking. <laughs> Whoa! It goes all the way up to Spencer. He's well, talking there you about go. Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer. It maybe is reading my voice. No. Perhaps <laughs> it knows my no. thoughts. I'm good. Maybe I'm thinking about no. Phil Spencer. <laughs> uh, um, let's see here. Also, coronavirus case in Orange County. Once we have a new, once we have a I new. I think launch I did hear about right that. There, once we have a new launch date. Oh yeah, once we have a new launch date. By the way, uh, we'll of course let you guys know right <laughs> on here. Um, but yeah, to clarify, the team at Virtuos is all okay. They're they're not in any danger. It's just that the offices are closed during this time. So glad to hear that everyone's okay and healthy and everyone's happy and much more importantly than uh, you know their health is. Let's not worry about a video game being released. Let's make sure they're healthy before anything else. All right. Um, so far, The Outer Worlds, by the way, has sold over 2 million copies. Per, uh, this is according to GameSpot. So it'll be intriguing to see how high up that number goes once the RPG hits Switch, which I'm s guessing is going to go up a lot more. Looks like Mike Gonzalez says uh, that Harley is indeed getting a show that he heard. So he heard. Also, Call of Duty, please take notes from AC on how to pump out games. <laughs> OK. This is good. This is good. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. For, uh, this is our l second to last story. You might still be daydreaming about Geralt. Heads up, guys. We're talking Witcher here. Uh, you may be daydreaming about Geralt in leather or yen and being straight fire, but Netflix has another video game show that I'm quite fond of. Castlevania, Yay. and we now know that season three will premiere in just a month on March 3rd. On top of that, we got a rad poster for Castlevania along with the promise that, quote, there's more mystery, murder, mayhem, and vampires than ever. This show is already bloody as hell, so if uh, they're somehow topping that Dracula, we'll surely be pleased, and as will we. That, that We've, show we so would good. just, just finish season two, actually. Yeah. Coincidentally, all right, the focus of Apex Legends Season 4 might be on the terrifying Revenant, but Bloodhound just got better with a buff to his alt, Beast nope. of the Hunt. Nope. Is that not happening? It's them there. What they, did I say? His get wrecked. Oh, what do you mean? He Oh, no, he no, typed just, it. Oh, you yeah. mean, oh, yeah. in terms of his, uh, yeah. Uh, he I, identifies they, as they, them. Yeah. Well, that's totally uh, not, I did not spell check that. I didn't, PC I didn't, police incoming. I didn't proofread mm -hmm. this enough. Wow. It's my bad. That's it. 
What did you? You're getting angry now. Let's call it a wrap. Angry Kyle's coming We're out. Done. Let's shut it down. <laughs> Let's cut it down. We're done. Um, I'll Sorry, Sonia. No, she's she's out. She's good. <laughs> Better with the buff. Uh, so, anyways, their them alt. Them alt? Is that their. how you say it? To their alt. Sorry. I don't them know. I'm, alt. I'm sorry. I'm I've never been able to use it. I've never had a moment where I had to use it. All right. So, to their alt beast of the hunt. So hopefully I can edit while I read here. GameSpot says you can extend the character's ultimate by five seconds for every foe down, oh. meaning wiping a squad would give you an extra 15 seconds to put a hurting on another team. So be wary of that or use it to your advantage when jumping into Apex Legends. Yeah, it sounds like third partying is going to be amazing with that ult. Right? Yeah, you just wipe them and just keep going. There Ooh. you go. There yeah, you go. I nasty. think that's it for stories, guys. Really? I think we did it. We did it! Yay! Yay! All right. Um, let's see if there's any people in chat that we can shout out. Uh, we've got the JJ who's in chat talking about Donkey Kong Country. Oh, I love the still of you on this image. <laughs> Please. It's so great. Let's 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 show the audience if we can. The still. I will. I prove you have my permission to show it. <laughs> uh, Naomi love games. That's right. me when I mess up on the script. That's my face. That's how I feel internally. All right. Um, so that's uh, that's what we're going to go to next, my friends. Uh, we have ourselves a really cool Let's Play because guess what? Our <coughs> guest last week and a couple other people have been telling me about Temtem. 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 That's right. Um, and, of course, we had uh, Stella Chu on, and she said she praised the game. She told me all about kind of the mechanics, how it's dif it differs from Pokemon, because it is very similar to that game. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> There's a few times I wanted to say trainer when you're supposed to call them tamers. But anyways, so you're going to watch my Let's Play. It's actually, I had played a bit of it at the start. You do get to design your own character, male or female, dress them differently, make them look differently. But unfortunately, my footage of that got put in the garbage because garbage. it wasn't good. It just wasn't good. got to wear pants um, while she was it recording. Was, it was just stuttering because, you know, sometimes some games you have to play them windowed. It's a whole thing. Because OBS has its issues. Um, but, no. yeah, it totally does. No! Yeah, so, uh, so here's my Let's Play. This is maybe 10 to 20 minutes. No, I'd say it's about 30, yeah, 50 minutes into the game. So I, I was totally, it's like 10 to 20. It's actually 50 minutes into the game. And uh, we're at a really cool segment. Uh, get you get to see the characters and how the new how the Temtem work. It's really fun. So check out this Let's Play, and we'll be right back. Hey there, Naomi in the studio. It's Naomi here at home, and I am checking out Temtem for uh, the very first time. I have played a little bit, so we're gonna hop right in and check out what's going on with this world, how things work. It's gonna be a crazy. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so here we are in Temtem. This is my character. Her name's Naomi, because I couldn't really find a regular Naomi name. All right, so just to give you the lowdown, here are my two Temtem that I have. I have a 2A and a Smazzy. They're pretty cool so far. They are level 11, which is nice, but uh, my Smazzy uh, needs a little bit of help, because he's, uh, he's dying. Oh, he's gonna be knocked out real soon. Another thing you can do are emotes. You can wave. You can enact war, and you can focus. This is my favorite one. Can laugh to death. It's the best. Um, see, you can see other characters, other players here. Like, I can emote to them and wave. Oh, they didn't wave back. Enacting war. Uh, no, they, they went off. They ran off. But look, everybody here playing with our Temtems. We just entered this part of the world. The character creation part, I totally did not get a chance to show you guys, because, um... My footage was wonky. So let's hop into find a store. Oh, it looks like this is a cool lab of some kind. Can you buy things here? So I haven't explored this part of the world yet. So temp cards are great. What I do need, ha, bomb, like lip bomb. Bomb is great for healing your temtem. So you always need more bomb because your temtem get attacked and they get injured. So I'm gonna buy a bunch of, I can only buy Three bomb. That's not enough. Maybe there's a way to make some money. Oh, I can sell things. I did see that. Okay, so now we've purchased the bombs, which is great. It's bomb-tastic. Well, um, what I need to go out and do is actually see if I can catch a wild... I almost said the P word. Ah, but this is what happens. A lot of keepers, aka tra trainers? 
Orcs. They're not really trainers. I'm happy to give you this for free if you're serious about Tamer Career. Tamer, not a trainer. I'm a tamer. How do I prove that? Yeah, any time to him for Percine Coast. Any apprentice worth the name should be able to. Well, I did not do that. Not worth my name, I guess. Let's go catch ourselves some, uh, Tim Tim. Ah! We just encountered a wild one. As one does. Perfect. Turo. This thingy. Okay. We're gonna try to get him down. Oh, okay, so Mazzy's down. So Mazzy's down, so Mazzy's down. So here's what you do. You go to your little backpack, use a temp card, and hopefully, level 11, this should be... Yes, I caught a Tataro! This is my first temp temp that I've caught. Adding him to the squad. Duh. And just like that, got my first temp temp. So now I can go back and get that one item love that you know the steps are listed there makes it super easy for me someone who doesn't like to read or follow the rules so let's do uh, the thing let's do the exchange i have a tenru it's a cute one whole squad replenish oh that's amazing it contains a single dose can i go past here i can oh uh, yes this is great so now we're gonna go f find some more temp -tem and engage other Tamers in battle. That's still a long way to go, my friend. What about family friendly tent in battle to pass the time? Yes. Lots. Do oh, oh yeah, I have my new friend now. So let's actually heal ourselves with some bomb. So this is how you heal yourself. Or your little baggy bag. Also, I've never used a chatteru. I don't know if they're good. So we're gonna learn the powers of these creatures. So show voice on this guy is amazing and I will demonstrate that for you right now. Oh, this guy's got a nipple. Wow. Not all your strikes are gonna work with certain uh, category Temtem, but uh, like, you know, the wind Temtem. There you go. And then it's all about my boy. Oh, they of course have one more. Just out of the blue. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I'm fighting two tamers. That means bad news bears for me. Okay, shrill voice, always a good solution when you're in a pickle. And a nibble goes a long way. Let's do that. Look at that. I'm telling you, Tway is fallen. He's also level 12 now. Nice job, Tataru. You're moving on up. Let's see what Tataru does. Yes! You knocked both of those bad boys out. Tataru, my boy, I've taped you so well. Let's discuss temptimology instead. No, listen, I'm just passing. Let's freaking fight. Let's just do this. No. Ha <laughs> foot to the face. Ah ha ha. Thanks for the money. Best way to get coins or money or whatever is to, of course, engage in fights. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm up for battle, sort of. Sure. No, not the toxic spores. Tail strike. Whoop pa Shrill voice. That'll take him out. Nice. That was really good, Smazzy. You're like my little friend. Nice. Two knockouts in one go. Let's show off. Let's get, let's test the waters with that. Oh wait, this is it. This is the show off power. Cute. All right, time to check the map. So as you do, you take out your tap but probably best to move straight ahead skipping everything because I can we're gonna battle it out I guess I'm gonna heal oh no I can't heal I've got no usable items in my backpack <laughs> maybe I lose this one guys it's about time you guys saw how a real person loses a real loser <laughs> loses oh my god they're barely none of my hits cause any damage but I know it's probably because I'm not using them smart Ah, the, sh the shield was knocked out. Didn't do anything for you, my friend. My shrill voice, it's pretty shrill. Tail strike? That should do it, right? Damn it, I was there. Oh! He survived! Please don't have any more tempo. This is a store. Ah, oh, just right when I thought it was 
Okay, this is gonna be really bad. Can we not fight? There's no option not to fight. God, I'm so, I'm in dire straits right now. I can't believe I don't have any usable items. What am I gonna do? Ugh, this is bad. Oh, level, they're level 10s. I do have one more attempt. Tetaru. Your voice always comes through. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh man, no, Tetaru! Oh my god. Oh no. I might lose this one, guys. This is my last. <laughs> Didn't even stand a chance. There you go. Did I lose a Temtem? Oh, I hope not. He stole my Temtem? Is that what happens? Guys, I'm so sorry. I lost all my Temtem. It's time to buy some stuff with the, the money I got, I guess. If you would make bombs a lot cheaper, I would buy a lot more. Alright. That's all I can get. Alright, folks. We are going back out. Okay, I already fought all these guys, so we're good. As long as I don't run into any wild Temtem. We should be fine. This is amazing. Bought these guys. Oh, but lost when I have to. Okay. Makes sense. Temtem gods, please send us your blessings. Let's see what I can do. Are these level 10s. They're probably the highest level. No, there's a level 11 earlier. Ooh! Okay, I really need to heal. Okay, that worked actually a little bit. Is that it? They must have had more Temtem. They're two dudes. But, but how? Because I said I would crush you. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. What is this place? Locked? Work in progress content. Oh, so there's going to be updates. This is exciting. Oh, I don't want to fight you. Damn it. Oh, brutal. No. Tail strike it up. Let's see what that does. Let's do some nibbling. Nice. Tail strike does good. Ugh, don't like that part though. Took a good bite there. Good job. Just gotta stay alive for the next uh, round. Okay, one more hit this guy and he is gone. Yes. No, <laughs> not another Zev Zev. Oh, what a snack. Thank you, has gone. Now we've got to fight this level five. Done. Another one! This is not looking super good. I might be able to make it. I am higher level, after all. Nope, Smazzy's gone. Damn it. Tetra's been holding out pretty strong, though. Look at that! I think one more round, we should be good. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. One more nibble. One more nibble. You can do it, Tataru. Yes. Perfect. Although now, I'm down. Harder. I need more temp temp. Oh god. I'm terrified to enter these freaking. <sighs> oh no, it's a geeky. I should have hung out in the like lower levels a bit longer. <laughs> Pamper. Lost the battle. This sad. Alright, I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys, because uh, temp temp is crazy and kind of difficult. <laughs> Alright, so that was my first playthrough of Temtem, and so far it's challenging, but I really, really enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. If you guys want me to play more Temtem for next week's Let's Play, maybe a part two or something, let me know in the comments, or if you want to see something else, back to Naomi the Studio, because you still have a show to finish, girl. Bye. <laughs> I did just tell myself to you do that. You have a show to finish, girl. <laughs> that, I mean, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. Um, cool. Tem -tem? So, Temtem, yeah, I did want to share my thoughts about that because at first, okay, I'm not a huge fan of those turn-based games. Mm -hmm. I It really takes a lot for me to get into them. This one got me, though. <laughs> I I actually really, really had fun with this oh, one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I think, like, You were really mad about the first failed capture. The first failed capture was a bummer. 
<laughs> yeah. But, you know. That's a good way to put it. These things happen. Um, no, I think it's su super easy to get into. And it kind of throws you into the story real fast. It doesn't like waste that. time with a lot of, you know, go meet this person, go do that. Like, it gets you right into the capturing of the Temtem real soon, real fast, and fightings going yeah, on Yeah, uh, people uh, were like, fights. they're going to get sued. Yeah. Uh, I don't I know. Mean, it's just a game. It's just a, it's a turn-based game like any other. I mean, you can't really copyright that. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's just, you're, you're no one caught. Do you think Pokemon copyrighted? The ability to create no. individual little animals that you can no. collect. No, because Digimon exists, so. That's a good point. Anyway. No, I know. That's a good example. Yeah, I don't think they'll get, get sued, but it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Um, I also just find it extremely cute and fun to just experience something other than Pokemon. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it just felt fresh and new, and I yeah. really enjoyed it. Well, I mean, if they just took away the word Temtem and, you know, like, yeah. I would be like, yeah, these are new Pokemon. Like, They're totally new I, Pokemon. I don't keep up with the generations. They're like, here's Blazookamon. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know. Is that a, he's a living Bazooka. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. It, 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 I mean, you look at the, the Temtem and they look very similar to Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And I, there's so many that I'm like, it's on the tip of my tongue of what the actual Pokemon version of that of, yeah. is. But it, uh, I wasn't able to come up with any. All I, I all I remember was that I had a monkey, one that looked like a monkey. Oh, a monkey. <laughs> and my Tataru. Monkey, your Tataru. The name of the Temtem I'm talking. Oh, you're you're so confused oh, right now because I'm yeah. not talking about Pokemon yeah. at all. <laughs> I was like Tataru. Uh, yeah, and it looks like you see you use uh, instead of Pokeballs you use cards. That's oh. right. So Poke use, cards. They're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they're called something different. I forget what they were called. But anyways, they're they're uh, there's all these different things. You use bomb to heal. Which I made the joke, it's like lip balm, but it's not really that. Yeah. I like uh, how it's healing balm. <laughs> oh, someone was like, I like how Naomi is suited up and Kyle's rocking a white tee. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> keep it cash. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm the business person. Yeah, in I'm, this not, house. I'm not the reason you guys are here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just here to be angry. Yeah. I'm here to be angry and I'm here to, to eat be pretty. popcorn. And popcorn. That's right. <laughs> um, so let's get through some things because we have a lot to discuss today. Um, Apex Legends Season 4. Mm -hmm. I just want to quickly get your baseline thoughts. What did you think of the new character and and what did you think of the new additions to the this season? Uh, new and character, the new map. Revenant's really cool. Changes to the map are really cool so far. Um, they they split apart my favorite drop zone in the city. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that a good or bad thing? No, I uh, so my favorite drop zone was in the city. You would drop to one of the garages and then uh, zip line over to the construction site. But you just keep talking while I, I put this tweet your about Instagram my... Uh, oh, I can talk for days. Go on, my friend. Whatever you need me to say. Go on. I can even slow it down <laughs> and really just chill for a bit if you want. We can take it relaxed. Anyway, I was saying I like the changes. I like Revenant. I like the map. Uh, Revenant's um, totem is really interesting. It's essentially he drops the totem and you click it and you engage and it's got a small radius and if you die within it, you go back to the totem with oh. uh, like 10% health, Ooh. but full shields. Um, you can all you can't you also can't use. Uh, I didn't confirm whether it was healing, but you definitely couldn't like reshield up while you were under the effects of the totem. Okay, which is really cool. Um, I'm trying to think what else I really liked about it, but oh, I like the weapon racks. Mm -hmm. So now it's the weapons aren't always just uh, random spawn. There's oh. a rack that'll have weapons in it. Well, that's nice. I like the new gun. I like the sentinel. Okay. So that's really good. But I take it with a grain of salt because I am a big Apex fan. Right. So uh, So anything that you yeah. they do, you're going to love. I'm just going to keep talking because you're really deep into that uh, I just Instagram post. I so. just finished the post, so well, we're good. Fantastic. Uh, Revenant is really cool. He's a um, even bigger edgelord than Caustic, but he's also a jerk, which is amazing. Fits your MO. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm going. You're she's amazing. Not kidding. I'm I'm telling you, you I would never call you a jerk. <laughs> I just totally meant it as a joke. Cause I it's your angry Kyle thing. No. Like that's it's fine. your little yeah. Don't worry, your dad's watching. You yeah, better my watch dad's out. Watching right now. <laughs> yeah, when I step out of line, Naomi, what she likes to do, she gets a sock. And she fills it with quarters and just beats Don't me with it. Don't say this. Aunt. This is not true. <laughs> <laughs> I just do it for her with nobody else. People are going to quote this and they're going to completely forget the context. Naomi Kyle beats the crap out of her significant <laughs> other with a sock filled with quarters. <laughs> He's secretly pleading for help. <laughs> Please, no. Yeah, Naomi. Oh, man. See, if I weren't Canadian, maybe that's believable. Oh. oh. Um, all right. So I also want to do a shout out before we move on to our next topic. Uh, we have a, a friend of my dad's who works with my father. This guy, Olivier, Oliver Pierre. Olivier Pierre is how you say it in French. Olivier Pierre. Right. Anyways, you're did watching somewhere from St. Agathe, I believe, did my I hometown. That? I think you did. Uh -oh. Say it again. 
Olivier Pierre. Yeah, you yeah. said it really good, actually. <laughs> I can do French. <laughs> yeah. Ha, ha, ha. I do my French gibberish. Do it. Je suis Joseph Fossou! <laughs> That's what it sounds like. I just hear this a bunch of. They'll have lang- conversations in French. Like, oh, sorry, I think c'est Oliver c'est will ça. really appreciate that. C'est it's, c'est tr- it's true. It's perfect. It doesn't matter. It's so. It's so. It's so. It's so. But then your grandma is amazing. My I like grandma. I like Everything's to, fantastic. Yeah, she's amazing. Everything's fantastic. With your my grandma, grandma and I get along on a spiritual level. I, I think. think you do too. Yeah. 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 Sorry, um, you were saying hi. No, to that's friend. it. That's all I want to say was hello, Oliver Pierre. You are watching from a distance and. Uh, we wanted to acknowledge your uh, presence and your fandom of our show. Hello, Olivia. Um, you exist. Yeah, you do exist. So I want to talk about Mythic, Qu- Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. Uh, what a great show. It is out today officially yeah. on Go Apple TV+. Plus. Um, nine episodes are all there for you to binge watch. Oh, yeah, all nine? They are all there. Oh. I know. I almost I wanted to tell you, but we had a busy day. So we'll watch it tonight if That's you want. because I scared you. No, like, I'm not going to tell us. I'm not going to tell you. Mm. Uh, but we saw the first two episodes because we were lucky enough to be invited by Ubisoft. Uh, so Ubisoft, um, McElhaney and uh, Charlie Day's uh, production company, and um, Apple TV uh, made this show. Mm-hmm. So these three different production houses or people who make movies or shows made this show together and uh, Ubisoft is one of the producers so we uh, were invited to go to the mm-hmm. premiere we got to see the first two episodes we sat in the audience the first two episodes were amazing really funny apparently the third one's even better yeah um, it's so a good start it's a really good start also uh, we kind of have a friend in uh, the industry who uh, Ashley Birch yeah. uh, is as you know she's the freaking voice of uh, oh my god I'm like on the name uh oh here it goes here it goes. Horizon gonna... Zero Dawn. What's her name? The main character. Yeah, I know it, but I want you to get it. No, you have to tell no. me. You you have to be my yes no. man. You no. have to. Uh. Come on. Yeah. You're killing me. Why am Rhymes I? With... It's, the... yeah. it's not Apex. It's yeah. Aloy. There we go. I knew it. Yay! <gasps> I knew you'd get it. Guys, I, was, I, I need some. I, I need a drink. for you. That's what what I did right there. That's called empowerment. Oh yeah, you're helping my brain work better. Yeah, I you're did helping that for my you. brain work better. It's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, you can see Ashley Birch is uh, on the poster right there. She's, She's uh, at the bottom right of the poster. She's amazing. She uh, plays a really cool character. Not a lot uh, to go off of on the first two episodes, but once I'm sure you heard the third episode, also very good. And more of her character development happens at that point. She's also a writer on the show. Which is really cool. No, it was it was really good. And Writer big, and starring. I'm a massive McElhaney fan. McElhaney's great. They call us McElheads. Mackel- I, I, I don't know. I'm just joking. <laughs> I would I would believe Mackel that. Rolls. No, Mackerels. Mackerels. Mackerels kind of works because like macaroons. No, Mackel- no, no. I just I like his work. I like his personality, at least what's publicly yeah. facing. And, and Charlie sunny. Day's behind the scenes doing stuff, yep. of course. And they were producing. there. Charlie Day. I like walked in. I I went to the bathroom and Devito and Charlie Day were in there, and I was like. Oh. Oh god! Really? Don't stand next to them. But stand. you were you were. I didn't know Charlie Day was there. Yeah, that's I remember crazy. Remember when I walked? I, I know you I, said that uh, Danny DeVito was did there. Did you? Did you remember when I walked back? Yeah, and you I were like, like that's this. Danny I was like DeVito. <laughs> yeah. It's because DeVito and Charlie Day were right in front of me. Oh my god. Yeah, I just I totally didn't say anything. That. I was totally cool. Yeah, it, you were totally not. <laughs> yeah, he was not. He looked at me and he was like, I can't believe they're there. No, yeah, I'm just a big fan of the work. So it's, like, it's great. Yeah. It was really cool to be there. Um, and of course, everyone should uh, tune in because. <laughs> What? Sorry. The, the comment. Johnny Digital has made me laugh for the first time ever. What did he say? Danny DeVito is Naomi's hall pass, which is fantastic. Oh. <laughs> I you get a little bit of the okay. DeVito in your life. I mean, it would be your hall pass, is would what be my guess. Danny DeVito? No. I don't think he'd be my hall, hall pass, personally speaking. Hey, Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd would be We've had hall this pass. conversation. We've had this conversation. And I was like, before. I get it. You get it, right? I get it. You yeah, get, I get it. it. Okay, Who's cool. your hall pass? Uh, uh, Henry Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> I well, love it. Chris Hemsworth. That's Henry what I. Cavill. That's what I thought you'd do. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um, Just do workout buddies. Whatever. Totally. Yeah. What? Totally fine. <laughs> Michael Haney would be a great workout buddy. I would He's just, ripped now. Oh, yeah. there's our Ashley Birch friend. There she Yay. is, yeah. She plays a great character. Mm-hmm. She's a, at, the, at this point in the story, the first two episodes, you find out right from the get-go, but she's a tester. She game te- She tests for bugs and stuff like that. Yeah. And there you have it, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet on Apple TV. Also, you guys have to watch it because it is... Next to Silicon Valley, there's like no other nerd video game, like show about video gaming mm-hmm. or the industry of video games. So mm-hmm. I think this is like a must see for anyone who's into games, and I'm guessing most of you watching the show are. So. Will they still be do all the, the in game footage stuff? 
So yeah, they provided a lot of in-game footage, some non-in-game footage that they just created uh, for the show, and a bunch of other things. So yeah, they were a huge producer. I think they were the main people who came up with this idea in the first place, and then reached out to Charlie Day's business and McElhaney's company to see if they could make it. That's what I was told. All right. What other video game company should make TV shows of their game? Everybody. Me, uh, yeah. I'm having a moment with Erwin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Erwin's, you guys are, are rolling tonight. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ooh, he called me. A little bromance. Uh -huh. um, with the camera. We do have more topics, believe what it or not. What are the topics? Ma and we only have three minutes, so we better just run. Oh God! Sorry. Mandalorian season two arrives in October. That was Whoa. an announcement. Uh, we want to mention the Mandalorian because then we can talk about Baby Yoda. Whoa. Um, so Let's Disney go. Plus, also on that positive note, Disney Plus has surpassed 28 million subscribers since launch. Congratulations! Wow. I'm almost 100% cer certain everyone signed on because of Baby Yoda. Mm -hmm. That is the only reason that you would get that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the child is uh, the Baby Yoda. This is a toy update because we always mention Baby Yoda toys. Um, the child is the top. Pre-order right now for Funko Pop. It's the top pre-order of all time for that company for Funko. Um, and the gate, the the doll itself or the statue is not out until May. So this is crazy, crazy. Baby Yoda is killing it these days. In fact, the Funko art director Reese O'Brien said that this is bananas, which I thought was an interesting quote. Um, so Baby Yoda stickers. These are uh, these are the update for those of you who want some official uh, Baby Yoda merch. You can get 50 Baby Yoda stickers on Amazon. These were really popular when they first came out. Then they sold out. Now they're sold out again, and they'll be back in stock right before Valentine's Day, February 13th. So that's our update for Baby Yoda. I want to take a second and say, uh, Kakashi Hataki or Hatake. Uh, we don't respond. No, you're right. This isn't live. This isn't live. You're right. You called us. Okay, carry on. You made a you made a good point. Yeah. Um, so the next thing I wanted to mention was, we have an unboxing. Oh, we're gonna unbox stuff. Let's unbox some stuff. Love that little intro. Can we Shout go to, out. Can we go top down. We could go top down. This is an important unboxing because it's actually not really an unboxing. Unwrapping. Um, we're, it's more of an unwrapping. <laughs> but Erwin was really nice, and uh, I guess at some point, when did you do this last year? Purchased a Baby Yoda plushie for us. Thank you, Erwin. Yeah. Shout out to Erwin. Erwin. So we have our first official Yoda toy on the show today. Let's check it out. <gasps> All right, so we're unwrapping our baby Yoda. Whoa. We must keep, keep the child is the precious little baby. The baby. The baby. Oh, there it the? is. What He's a little scrunched up on this side. <laughs> we'll fix him. I'll fix him. <laughs> Kyle, don't do this. <laughs> that is. Can you handle your 20 children? I mean, he yeah. does kind of need a bit of like eye replacement surgery or something. <laughs> I'm fixing him. I used to be a teacher. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. This poor child. So uh, so our baby Yoda, guys. Looks like us. Has been unboxed. And uh, this is our oh, first little yeah. baby Yoda. And we're, yeah. of course, going to keep him on the set. He's not going anywhere. I love it. Thank you so much, Erwin, for doing that. Thank you. I mean, this is as close as you're going to get right now. There are no official merch toys out there at the moment. They're all on. They're all coming out too late. Just too late. <laughs> Um, two. I'm trying to get him to stay. I like stay. how Harley's upside down. Really I, I did that on, on purpose. Brand. I kind of did that on purpose. Let's just get her. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Yay. Sorry, Reinhardt and uh, what's her name from Frozen? I forget her name. <laughs> yeah, her name's her The name, other one. Elsa, her name, not Elsa, the other one. It's Frozen. Anna. Frozen? What did I say? Her name's Frozen. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, I think that's it for, for our discussion portion, guys. Really? Yeah. What? It went so smoothly. Yeah, it's that's it. So um, And it looks like somebody actually got a crocheted Baby Yoda speed demon. That's crazy. Nice. It's really cool. No, next up we have our special guest. We like her. Woo! We like her. Sonia slash, oh my god, it's Firefox, is going to be joining us in just a second. Don't go anywhere, and uh, we'll see you back here, because we got some uh, special celebrating to do. Celebrating. <laughs> 